4 wickets in 17 balls boosted Sussex's chances of claiming their first championship win of the season against Gloucestershire at Hove. Chasing 167 to win, Gloucestershire looked in control when they reached 69 to 1. But Stion Van Zale picked up two wickets in successive balls and then had Jack Taylor caught behind. Ollie Robinson claimed the key wicket of opener Benny Howe for 45 as Gloucestershire slumped to 72 to 5. As the lead deteriorated, Sussex were forced to bring on left arm spinner Danny Briggs who removed Graham Van Buren after Van Buren had added 23 with Ryan Higgins. But conditions got too worse and when the players came off because of bad light Gloucestershire were 108 to 6, 59 runs from victory with Sussex requiring four more wickets. A dire forecast for tomorrow suggests the game might end in a draw which would be a pity. Both sides had periods of control on an absorbing third day. Although the odd ball misbehaved the pitch played pretty well but overhead conditions were poor throughout with the lights on from the start. Sussex resumed on 51-2 and lost wickets at regular intervals. Opener Harry Finch batted through the morning session and for a while he and Van Zale looked to be putting Sussex in a decent position. They then lost Van Zale, who nicked Dan Warrell to slip, and Luke Wright, LBW to Higgins. In successive overs and before lunch Ben Brown 16 and Michael Burgess 17 had also departed. Finch played the anchor role to perfection, coming out his shell to pull Jack Taylor for 6, before losing his middle stump to Warrell for 48 after lunch. The Australian ended the innings when he had Ashin Sharma LBW to finish with 4 to 45 while Higgins 3 wickets gave him a match haul of 8 to 86. Gloucestershire lost skipper Chris Den 13 when Robinson beat him with late movement but Howell and Roderick appeared to be putting their side in a strong position with a stand of 45 and 13 overs. Then Van Zale nipped one away and Roderick was caught behind to give Ben Brown his 300th first class catch and Jack Bracey lost his off stump to the next ball. Howell's patient innings was ended by another good ball from Robinson before Van Zale picked up Taylor. Gloucestershire regrouped through Higgins and Van Buren but Briggs deceived Van Buren 9 with his arm ball to make Sussex favorites again shortly before conditions got too bad.